Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Fallout 4. Last part, we came out of Vault 101. We played through the opening sequence and we're about ready to head out into the world. But first we need to loot. So, there's lots of stuff all over this area. Some Radex, useful. This is how we get back in by pushing the button. Radex, more Radex. Let's take the folder. Sure, it doesn't actually benefit us at all, but why not? Useful crates. Molotovs. Oh, early on. Hmm. Lots of Molotovs. I'll take that. Let's, uh, let's get those equipped. Sure. Now that's not broke. Not, not, uh... It seems like this gate is wider now. Maybe there was like a, a gate right here and this fence continued to it. But these don't really match up that well. Oh well. Let's see what's over here. Desk fan. Very useful source of screws, which I don't think I need too many of. If I'm going to be playing mostly as melee. By the way, here's a switchblade. More ammo. So, as a melee person, I want two weapons, I always. I want to have a slow or medium uh, run what weapon that hits very hard on the first hit for sneak attacks, and then a fast weapon with high DPS for when I don't have a sneak attack or a critical hit, and I need to just DPS them down. So this is this will be my uh, my speedy weapon, and my security baton suffices as my slow weapon for now. The pistols and ammo are just for fun, for selling perhaps. Although I don't think I ever want to sell stuff. I kind of want to just you know let it accumulate. Maybe I'll sell the ammo. Ammo is pretty useless. Silt beans. I don't think I've ever used those in a recipe. I think they're, the only recipe that they're good for, there's other things the other ingredients are more worthwhile for. Hub flour. I have no int, do I, right? I have one intelligence. So, yeah. It'll be a while before I am able to craft these into anything useful. But, you know, there's no reason not to collect them. I have a mod installed that makes the water clear. Just because, you know, there's lots of stuff under the water. I want to be able to see it. Look at those textures. <laughs> okay, here's our home, our former home. You know, that's actually a little inconsistent. So, back there, we saw a bunch of corpses where people were trying to get into the vault and were not able to, suggesting they died right there. And in fact, if I walked this way in the opening, I would have died right here. But, right here, before we were obedient and went up to the vault, there was a truck and some soldiers. I guess the idea is maybe the truck got moved later? I mean, I don't think it drove away under its own power. Oh well. I guess, you know, however many years of scavenging can change things around. Here's Codsworth. I like Codsworth. As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! Codsworth, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International! But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? Um, 
They killed him? He can't be dead. I wonder what that would happen. Okay, we're gonna see that, because he is dead. We, we pulled the ring off his finger. He can't be dead. He can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. <laughs> but these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Or, or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Shiraz? Is that like a British thing? That they say Shiraz instead of charades? I don't know. I... The things you miss skipping through dialogue. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're, uh, Two centuries late for dinner! <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack! You must be famished! I always go for the... I'm, I'm not going to go for that that uh, speech check. Because I've never seen what the other ones do. Let's just see what I don't know is. Well, no, let's tell him to get food. What, what will he do? What? Food? Yeah, sure. I... I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Interesting. He actually goes and gets your food. Normally, he has like this mental breakdown and starts talking about how he, he how he's been trying to maintain the garden even though the house is all wrecked. He's got this whole um, "there will come soft rains" sort of thing going. But yeah, I'm not always going to choose like the weird speech options, but. When I first played, I chose the one that seemed natural. This time, I'm going to choose something... Mom, there you are, Mom. Now, That's a bit more reasonable. Less of a hero thing. If something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. The Red Menace? You're an idiot. No, um, that, that seems a bit mean. I don't want to be mean. I've never seen this dialogue branch. Cool. The Red Menace? Why, the Communists, of course! The Russians and the Chinese! That doesn't seem likely. Codsworth, I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, Sir and young Sean, they're, they're my family, too. Oh, I get to do it here. Sure. Let's take let's do the speech check now. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I I uh, Mom. It's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? You mean you didn't keep the car painted? I mean, if you just keep it painted, it won't, it won't rust. It sounds like you were not doing your job very well. Nah, it's fine. Um... Need a focus, man. Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believed Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. 
Holotape, eh? A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Hmm. I kind of want to listen to a holotape. Let's see if there's anything Have dangerous. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Yeah, sure. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Picking up a knot this time. We're gonna stab those bugs to death. Um. Senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. It's all you, dude. Go. I've got your back. about knifing bugs this strikes me as hilarious. Ow, ow. That's kinda gross. They're like spitting stuff at you. Ew. And I've got, I'm all covered in gunk. This was my new suit too. No actually it wasn't my new suit. I have a new suit. Let's put that on. Does that fix things? It does! Great! I think that would fade away anyway, but you know. Mom, your your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? So he's supposed to be able to address you by name, but I don't think I've ever picked a name that he understands enough to be able to like. I, I guess there's like a limit to the number of names they programmed into the the game, and I picked non-standard names. Should I have picked something like? I don't know, Katie? Distracted a bit today, Mom? Um... It's okay, man. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mom. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Concord, eh? There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the home. You do that, man. I like to encourage him, you know. He, he needs some... He needs some human contact. But, first, before we head out, we need to loot this entire town. Uh, pistol there. Because there can be some nice things. Oh, of course, we want to pick up the bloatfly meat. Um, pillow. Have to carry around my pillow. Eventually, I'll come back and I'll, like, get rid of all the furniture. I'll wipe it out. But for now, just picking up the loot is fine. I don't mind doing this in, like, multiple passes. Nothing in the mirror, unfortunately. Pumpkin. Some... Oh, there's something. Can I get into that? Yes. Okay. So... Little this... No, a little more the other way. There we go. Nice. So, in under his crib is a safe with a pistol and ammo. And some money. Ah. 
that doesn't seem the most safe thing to do. I mean, why put that in your kid's room? Put it, like, in your kitchen or something. Uh, table lamp. Is there something there? There's some cigarettes. We can get the angle. There you go. A radio that doesn't work. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm... I don't want to listen to Diamond City Radio. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, that's it here. I'll just walk around the neighborhood, slowly clearing things out. Checking the mailboxes. Mailbox? Nothing. Nothing. The mailboxes used to be, like, this great source for, like, uh, magazines and stuff and the other fallouts, but it doesn't seem to have persisted. And I don't honestly recall seeing a mailbox beyond this area. Maybe there's like a ring of houses with like a bear in the middle that has mailboxes. I don't remember. Cigars. Uh, extinguisher. Sure. I'll take that. Food tray. Caps. More duct tape. Always can use more duct tape. No mirror here, so no chance of bobby pins. It's a shame. Uh, a yellow fedora. Let's go with that. Sure. So stylish. Okay. And back here, an ammo box. Since there were caps here, there was like this caps, what, right there that I picked up? I'm assuming that this wasn't, like, left in its pristine state. That people came back and tried to live here for a bit after the after the bombs fell. Because before the bombs, no one used caps. That wasn't the currency of the time. That, that's the currency now. I think that's it so far. But! Let's see. There are... There is a special thing with this house, I think. It has a... Oh, first... Some great mute fruit, mute fruit plants. And a hidden root cellar. Now, there's a wire running from the root cellar to this room. To that room right there. And it kind of makes it seem... Oh, did I, I missed the lighter there. It makes it seem like there should be like a terminal right here that would interact with whatever is maybe to unlock that root cellar. But it's not there. I don't know why. I guess... I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to confuse people this early in the game. But we'll go into the root cellar and see what's there. And someone set up their own little mini fallout shelter. With lots of interesting things, like aluminum cans, some food pre-war food purify water mag oh I don't want to sleep here lots of booze yeah where's the wire so that that red wire was the one and it looks like it doesn't go anywhere oh well and most importantly here we have these gold bars which are worth actually a decent amount. And I don't know how many gold bars there are in this game. I think it's one of those rare pieces of junk. So I'm not going to sell those gold bars. I'm going to keep them around. Some 45 rounds. Just food. And a safe that I can't Locks open really up yet. Strong. But we will eventually. More food. Um, anything else jumping out? Yeah, I forgot this whole shelf. Some some pre-war money. That's good. Stim packs. Always useful. A shovel. Unfortunately, I don't think you can actually use a shovel as a shovel or as a weapon. It just kind of... It's there so you can deconstruct it into, um, into iron and, and wood. I think that's it. I've forgotten that I'm not playing on survival, so I can save everywhere. I should be saving more often. 
just in case bad things happen, like game crashes. Or excessively long loading times on uh, coming back into the world. It is a very pretty game. Yeah, a kind of a stark beauty, but beauty, but still. That looks kind of weird. I guess it's okay. I was thinking that was like an error in the world, but no, it's fine. Let's go up on top of the house. Oops. There. Uh, and someone has a bag they put up here with some more Molotovs. So. Explosives are going to be my main way of dealing damage at distance. Because I'm not going to level any, um, at least not till way later in the game. I'm not going to level the increased damage from guns at all. So, if I want to, but I will get the increased damage from explosives. That's on the path. So, that that's kind of my plan. Okay, let's see what the next house brings. Uh, this was already decorated for Halloween. Oh, this is the first house with the, um, the house that had bugs in it. Bloat flies. Open the fridge. Nuka-Cola! Um, yeah. Another empty mirror. Too bad. Mirrors are where you can get, um, bobby pins. And I'm not very good at the little pickpocketing mini, uh, not pickpocketing, what am I saying? The lock picking mini game. So, I'm gonna lose pins. Uh, let's see. Up, up. One down already. Yes. Oh, we have some drugs. Buff out, jet, medex. And then some useless, useless gun things. I'm not gonna bother. Summer shorts. No damage resistance. This gives me the vault suit gives you some damage resistance. Summer shorts gives you charisma. Definitely look kind of spiffy there. I'm not, you know, looking for charisma as a priority, but you know, better than the feeble amount of the, uh, defense the vault suit gives you. Did I already clear this? I think I already cleared this. And... Okay. Next house. Oh, I need to check the mailbox. Always important to check the mailboxes. This, this mailbox is not checkable. There's clearly been some sort of error there. <laughs> Anything in the backyard here? I don't think so. Okay. Next house. This is my house, right? Yeah. The toaster. Apparently Codsworth didn't like that toaster. And he couldn't bother to take away these leaves? I mean, I can understand letting the car go to ruin, but letting leaves sit on the patio? Codsworth, really. Anyway. It's a nice little stark contrast to the opening of the game. So we have a skill mag here. Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5 damage. And I'm going to mostly be doing melee attacks, so hey, good deal. Coffee. All these things were still here back in the um, in the past when the game started. You just couldn't loot them. They were just sitting around. Let's see. Sometimes it's odd what you can pick up and what you can't. Like, you can pick up a lamp, but you can't pick up a stool. The stool you have to sit on. I don't know. Globe. Useful for cork. Ah, some more bobby pins. Good. Very good. 
some fuel for Cosworth. It's amazing how he's been able to uh, keep himself levitating for 200 years. Must be super efficient. A beer bottle in the washer? Husband, what were you thinking? A bowler hat? What's that like? That's one endurance. That's better than the fedora. I don't need that much perception. And perception is more of a, um, a gun stat, because you need it for aiming. But endurance? Let's see. So without that, my I have 85 total health. With it, I have 90. It's not nothing. I should probably eat some also, by the way. Um, well, I'll wait. I'll, I'll, I'll actually cook something before eating like a raw bit of rad roach. My poor son's crib. I'm coming, sweetheart. Sure. And apparently we gave him a board game that has nuclear parts in it. Wooden blocks and it all important, your special. Before I pick that up, I want to see what stat do I need. So the various perks that are useful. I already have access to Rooted. I already have access to Lone Wanderer. I have access to Blitz. So those are my main three that I want to jump on. Well, probably I can, I can do without the Rooted for now. I'll go for the Big Leagues first. But I think I'm going to go for Idiot Savant. Because that really improves your um, XP rate. Because you, you have a chance of getting three times as much XP from any of action. And the lower your act, your intelligence, the greater the chance, and my intelligence is base one. Though that's not so important. Even if you have maxed out intelligence, Idiot Savant is still going to give you decent experience points. More than not having it. So, I'm going to go for one more point of luck. And probably at some point, two more points of luck to get Critical Banker, because that's just amazing. Okay, so your special gives you a free attribute point. And I'm going to put mine into luck. Toy car. Baby rattle. We were already buying the kid toys when he couldn't even lift his head. New parents, you know. They, uh, they jump into things. Okay, I think this is cleared out. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that nice, this rain? It's not, not so easy to see, but... I don't know. I always like a game that, that's a rain. Oh, I didn't check our backyard. We should see to make sure we didn't have anything out here. No. It all got blown over. Ah, well. Next house. Dog bowl. Uh, nothing there. So they they were planning on walking away a dirty tan suit. Just take a peek at it. Peek at it. Oh yeah, that's that's a good look. We'll go with that for now. Until we, you know, hardcore up and decide how we're gonna make this work better. <laughs> oh, bottle, Nuka Cola bottle. Um, just a can. Some cement, cinder stones, or blocks, or whatever. More caps. Suggesting again that this was a post-bombing, post-war uh, hideout for some people. Otherwise, there wouldn't be caps here. They could have fixed up the place, though, you know. Desk van. Another suit. This guy must have been, you know, someone important because he had multiple suits in his house. Instead of the obligatory one just for getting married or whatever. Next house? I think there's an enemy here, right? Yeah. A couple roaches. Yeah. 
And there's something in the backyard, so we'll get to that. Nuka Cherry. A cigar. We got the roaches. Used oil can. Always good to get more meds. No mirror. Yeah. I need more bobby pins. Why aren't they uh, giving me stuff? A suitcase. Let's unlock it. Over on this side somewhere. There we go. That's it. Laundered blue dress and a bobby pin. Meh. That's nice, I guess. I think I like the suit better. Yeah. It's kind of doesn't fit her body type very well, but that's fine. Uh, anything else here? No. Any hats? I've only got the two so far. Okay. Next house. I'm sorry if this is boring, but I love this. I love just being able to slowly and methodically walk through an area, looting all the things. Collecting everything, seeing what's out there. I'll loosen up as we go along, but for now, I intend to savor, to suck the marrow out of this game. Oh, did I get the, again, no mailbox. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's empty though. We can see. Mailbox here though, with nothing in it. A random gun in the shower. See, when you're playing through like this, you appreciate it more. No rushing to the next objective. Army fatigues. That might be what I'm actually going to go with. Strength 1, Agility 1, and those are my stats of choice. So, from for a while now, for the foreseeable future, I will wear army fatigues. Yeah, that's a decent look. A medex. Does it, that doesn't explode, does it? I bet it, maybe it would. Hmm. Let's let's be careful with that. Um, we get up. We got everything in here, right? Yeah. That's where we got our new outfit. Okay, so save just in case. This has a tension trigger and a bomb. So this chest will explode if you try to lockpick it. I don't know why there'd be a makeshift bomb on this safe, but either way, we will not let that bother us. And let's see what's in it. Easy lockpick. Just some money and ammo. And we have a terminal that we need to get into. Okay. So, the way to get ahead in this is you have to look for the little parts where there's an open and less uh, an open and closed sign of the same punctuation style when you click on one of those it gives you a, some benefit in this case tries reset ideally though it would eliminate one of the choices so let's look for more of them so it moved this to let us know that that was not the password one of these is the password we need to just do process of elimination to find out which one Let's see. There's something. Move to dud. There's one. Hmm. All this punctuation. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. So, there's a lot of things that are... Let's just pick something unusual, like Hall. So it does it does not contain Hall. Any of the the characters H A L A L L. So lots of things begin with H A, so it's not that. It 
does not have. It's not that. Can't be that. Can't be that. Could be this. Sweet. Yep. That was an easy one. Okay. We're in the business of happiness. Sanctuary Hills. De Pietro. Totally high strung and needs to re oops. What am I doing? And needs to relax. I keep telling him that, offering to help, but so far no dice. By the looks of the guy, he's self medicating with pie. That seems mean to say that, dude. Some people can't help their weight. Well, everyone can help their weight, but it's harder for some than others. I'm no i I'm no, I'm not at all able to speak. My favorite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules of day tripper a week. Guess he's a one a one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. So yeah, this is a drug dealer's terminal. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it is what it is. Jahani? You want something called Psycho? I'm not sure this stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? Guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some feelers out to my army connection. See where that goes. Russell? They still owe me for that last XL delivery. Occurred to me, was it even for them? Because so help me God, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, we're going to have words about more than money. But we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom, under the dresser. Can't be that tough to, tr to crack. I don't remember. Did I, get a, did I get a floor safe? Under a master bedroom? Russell. In Concord, there's O'Keefe. Still good for a couple hits of daddy a week. Pretentious pseudo-intellectual asshole, but his money is good. Williams? Wants Medex, as much as I can get. Hasn't told me why. Not really my business. Guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management thing going on. Disease? So, Medex is kind of like opium. Or some variant of that. Anders. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style, and she's not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood packs. Some Halloween stunt or something. Or hell, maybe she's really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. Some sort of a carry reference, maybe? Boston. Isaacs. Some student at CIT. Once day tripper. Excel. An entire pallet. Yes, pallet of Mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experience, experiments, dealing to the other egg, eggheads, or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care, so long as the money's good. Word? Young married couple. Good for a couple day tripper per week. Easy order. Cool people. No brainer. McDermott. Cop. Long time buff out customer. Running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years. I'd hate to end it now. And I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law-abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. But that's kind of, you know, the gall of a drug dealer having a cop as one of his, uh, his customers. How do you even begin that? Where do you approach things? I don't know. Sapolsky. The old lady has upped her daddy order. Weird, but profitable. Miscellaneous? Malcolm. Potential new customer in Charleston. Once Medex seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. The Shane. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs. Ten plus per week. My imagination continues to run wild. Lude. That's it here. Okay. Okay, and I think we get attacked here. Where are you? There you are. And we can't go in that house, it's too wrecked, but we can in this one. And there's an enemy here too, I think. Yeah. Two? No, just one. Okay. I forgot to check the backyard to that one. I'll go over there in a moment. Some pre-war money. Mm. 
More bobby pins. I have enough bobby pins for now. Some dog food. Let's avoid eating that ourselves. Um, sinks that don't work. A fridge that has an empty milk bottle in it. Kind of unappealing. And uh, was there anything here? Yeah, there is. There's a toolbox with more duct tape in it. In the backyard. A dog bowl. Okay. Let's get that backyard that I forgot. Because the druggie needs to have a place to produce his wares. We have a chem station, which I can't do anything on, I don't think. Let's take a peek. I can. I can actually start combining drugs without any intelligence. And I can make more jet from fertilizer. Jet's actually really useful. Fireworks. I don't think I have weather change. I think these were added by one of the DLCs. So I can make more Molotovs, but I don't really need them. And I need my adhesive. I can't waste it on uh, Molotovs. Yeah. Syringer ammo. I have never bothered with the syringer. I don't really know how good it is. It's like, it's a, it's a, um, it's a rifle that shoots syringes of specialty things. Like, so this reduces damage resistance by 25. But why would you just not want to get a critical hit on them? By, um, by getting a sneak attack. It seems like that's a, unusual to have a syringer and then follow up on it. Maybe the chance to paralyze. I can see that being useful. Depending on the chance. Target believes the player has vanished and has a reduced chance to detect you. That's interesting. The mind cloud syringe. When you get into trouble. Oh well. Let's leave this alone for now. Uh, and there's only one more house left. We're almost done with Sanctuary Hills. Oh, I, I was gonna... I'm gonna pull... Well, I can't pull it over yet, but I'll cook some food. So, I've collected a lot of... Well, a little bit of blowfly meat. But a lot of radroach meat. So let's make some radroach. Some grilled radroach. And... That was enough to, let me, to level me up. That's kind of funny. That's how I want to get my level 2. Cooking a roach. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do there. The problem is there's so many good things right now. I think I'm going to have to go with Blitz just because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to run at enemies. So this makes it so that you can vats people from further away. So like, if you've been watching, I'll often vat someone and it'll give me a 0% chance to hit and I'll step a few steps forward and it'll give me a 95% chance. The distance at which you can do the 95% increases with Blitz. It's essential for um, getting stealth kills, I think, and for not going nuts. So this is the last place kind of the hub house because it's got all the, the it's got the workshop in front of it which lets you do settlement building which I'm not going to bother with at the moment typewriter duct tape battery they give you lots of little stuff so that you can uh, get into the settlement cleaning if you want right away isn't there a wrench here there it is Up on the ground, maybe? No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, inside we have nothing much. More oil, that's always good. Any food? When did I get a. Oh, I got, I got a full heal when, my, um, when I leveled up. So I didn't need to waste food on. Okay. 
Um, back in here. Another mirror with nothing in it. Bobby pin and a yellow trench coat. What's a trench coat give me? Charisma, endurance, and some damage resistance. But it doesn't let you wear armor. I think I'm going to stick with my army fatigues for now. Yeah, didn't really get great armor. I got good armor from this run. I can make that work. Okay, so I don't think there's anything more I can do in terms of crafting. So all I want now is to store all that junk I picked up. And eventually, like I said, I want to store it in much more elaborate ways. But for now, I'm just going to make some simple containers. Yeah. So, well, I'll make them big steamer trunks. The ex extra weapons in here. Extra armor here. Um, all the all the food and stuff here. Oh wait, I wanted that. I need the grilled rad radroach. I don't need to get drunk. I'll keep the jet and the drugs just in case. But I don't want to eat the radiated food. I don't mind carrying the weight. Okay. Over here. Not all these are weightless, right? Yeah, so let's not bother with that. This is where we put the junk. We have picked up a lot of junk. I could just store it in the settlement, but eh. If I need to craft something, I'll come back. Okay. Let's save. We have gone through Sanctuary Hills and looted pretty much everything. There's a few safes we can't crack yet. Oh, and most importantly, a couple fragmentation grenades. Right at the door. I think it is time to head out into the larger waste. Or not the waste, the Commonwealth. The waste was Fallout 3. Either way, I think we are done this time. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this is Fallout 4.